Out here. Katie has the most pointless job. Get the law down. This is not going to be a free for all. Stupid question. It was a stupid question, Ryan. <laughs> Saturday, we are um, here at the house in Florida. Hi, Mike, how are you? I know, we just got some bad news. We have um, a bike for Ryan, and Ryan is out riding on his bike, and I just got a phone call that he, he knows where he is. He's not necessarily lost, but he has a flat tire. So we've gotta go get him, and I feel bad for him. <laughs> so we're gonna go try to find Ryan. I'm not exactly sure where he is, but we're gonna give him a call. Um, Mike, are we gonna walk? Hold on one second. Okay, never mind. I think we're driving. I'm gonna go try to find him. So Mike's gonna give him a ring, find out where he is, and we'll go rescue Ryan. Poor kid. I know. I I encouraged him. <laughs> you encouraged him to go for a ride? Yes. Well, I don't even know if we have a bike pump. Do we have a bike pump? I feel bad for these guys. He has a flat tire. The bike's been sort of, oops, keeping him busy. Okay, stay tuned. Yo, hey, bud. Where are you, Ryan? I'm at the end of your drive, so go out like you're going out of the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. Like, just stay on the main road and then go find them. Stay on the main road. There's like a hundred main roads, man. You're lost. <laughs> well, no, I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. There's a pond behind me and a pond on the main road. Has, oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Did anybody say anything to you? My guy. Why? It's okay. They can go around us. Poor little dude. Which which flat? Oh, is it your back tie? Oh, oh my gosh, that is terrible. What? Yeah. It like came. It totally came up. Stop sign over there. I was at the stop sign over there, and I stopped really hard. I heard it start to sizzle. See that? Oh no. Yeah, and then it started deflating. And then I tried to ride home and salvage what air I had left, but I stopped him out right here. All right, well, we give I, it a shot. I really wanted to go look at that house. <laughs> I want to go look at the front of All right, we'll go take a look at it. Right, let's take you ready? All right. Uh, Maybe you can cut your lawn. Wait, did you show the camera that I did? Yeah, look at it. Yeah, the, we saw that. The skid. Yeah, it's, it's not You gonna... skidded, and that's what did it. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure you see that black mark at the end. Oh, man, oh, so oh, come oh, on, man. man. So here's where I... <laughs> I came, I came right up here, saw the stop sign, saw a really nice car coming down here, and then, boom, skid all the way here, and I just hear it start sizzling and, like, and I kind of hear like a little pop and I just hear Pshh. and I knew I was going down. So I tried to salvage the little air I had left, went and only made it about probably 20 yards. So yeah, not the greatest bike ride I've ever been on, but you know, it's a, it's a learning curve and a, uh, and a memory and a story I'll probably tell later. So yeah, anyway. All right, you guys, so we've been here for two weeks now and I wanted to, you know, when we came down, we weren't sure how long we we're gonna be here. We thought maybe just a week, but then it turned into longer with what's going on with everything out there. So anyway, um, it's time to get some order into our days, um, especially with school officially starting on Monday with new classes going in for the next semester, so next, next 
period next term. Anyway, so I wanted to make sure that everybody was on the same page as it relates to a schedule for school, schedule for working out, schedule for um, cleaning the house. So I put this together and this is our chore chart, which I'm gonna present to the kiddos and um, this will be the way that we're moving forward. So there's no doubt on who's doing what, because honestly, like we're staying at my parents' house and it is an immaculate place and I wanna make sure that it stays that way. And I'd like this to continue on when we go home because it's just, I don't know, we should have done it before. And with cleaning up, it was always catch as catch can and hey, today's do your laundry today or clean your room today or whatever. It was never really order in the way that we worked through a cleaning schedule. But I think to have it this way, then there's no doubt about who's doing what and when they're doing it. It's just the expectation. It's broken up into little chunks. Um, easy peasy. So let me just take you through it really quickly. Over here is Brennan, Katie, Ryan, and then this is everyone. And of course, dad and I do all kinds of stuff. So I didn't put us on the, on the chart because we make dinner and we um, are cleaning our room and the other rooms and paying the bills and doing all that stuff. So anyway, on Monday, Brennan cleans the bathroom and cleans the bathroom on Thursday and then vacuums his bedroom. And then Katie sweeps the floor, sweeps the floors and dusts her bedroom. And Ryan takes out the garbage, takes out the garbage and then vacuums. And then each day, so those are like sort of like on Mondays, Thursdays and Saturdays, they have cleaning responsibilities in the house. And then every day they'll have dinner responsibilities. And there's D1, D2 and D3. D1 is clear and clean the table, the dinner table. D2 is for dinner, load the dishwasher and clean the pans. And D3 is wipe counters and sweep the floor. So they're gonna go ahead and rotate. So on Monday, for example, Brennan will be D1, Katie will be D2, Ryan will be D3. And then on Tuesday, Brennan will be D2, Katie will be D3, Ryan will be one, and then D3, D1, D2, and it rotates throughout the week. So that's pretty much how, that, how it goes. And then everyone is always supposed to clean up after themselves. So everybody's responsible for that. Um, no dishes or eatings, eating in bedrooms and keeping clothes and other items off the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and present that to the kiddos and see how it goes. And they're not expecting it. So I don't mean to like pop it upon them, but it's more like just this is like how we're gonna all move forward in a harmonious way. So we'll see how that goes. So you guys comment down below if you have chores or if you have a chore schedule in your house or how that works out because I'm very curious to know. Um, this is something new that we're trying out and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, but um, just wanna make sure. And any tips you guys have for me, I would love to see them. So comment down below if you don't mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre present that to the kids before dinner. Wish me luck. All right, we're getting ready for dinner. Ryan, can you grab your brother and your sister, please? It's all good. It's about growing up and stuff. Come on, Kate. Whoa. Your hair looks cute. It's awesome. part in the middle. All right. So this is the deal, you guys. So we've been here for two weeks now, and it looks like we're going to be here for a little bit more than that. Mm, so wait, I said two weeks today. Two weeks uh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. How many days is it looking like we're going to have to stay here? Well, it depends what happens with this uh, thing. So anyway, this is the deal, regardless. So we wanna make sure that we're all pitching in and we're taking care of Nan and Pap's house, okay? I don't, and think, the, I don't think we haven't been taking care of Nan No, of course we have. Yeah, we're just gonna put some order to it. You've been doing a, a great job taking care of Nan and Pap's house. We're just gonna put some order to it because I remember the other night after dinner and cleaning up, it was a little bit confusing mm -hmm. as to who was doing what mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. So come on over, we put together a little oh chart. My. And it's for your own benefit, so you're not surprised on what responsibilities you have. That's, let's all work together. And what team? Or King, Senate, would you, Senate, would you rather me just drop your responsibility on you and tell you, now, Katie, do this, Katie, we already it. learned that you didn't like me to do that, right? Posting it up. Clean bathroom. So, worse. posting it up so you understand. Clean bathroom? Oh my gosh. Oh, I tell you what. This is Who do you think said <laughs> clean the bathroom? <laughs> All right, so come here. So, Brendan, it's, I think this is pretty fair and equitable, and I think it's pretty simple. I clean bathroom twice a week. So, look at this is the deal. So, right now we have this. So, this is what we're gonna do. So, here's Brendan, Katie, and Ryan. These are the days, right? So, this is the week. So, this day, this day, this day, this day. So, this week, Brendan, you're just cleaning the bathroom on Monday and Thursday. You're gonna go through. You're gonna make sure that the sink is clean, that the mirror is clean, the floor is clean, everything is cleaned up in the bathroom. And then on Saturday, you're gonna vacuum the room. Katie, Katie's Katie. responsibility this week is to sweep all the floors out here. Katie has the most pointless job. She has to dust the room. I'm sorry. How <laughs> dusty does it get? 
it. I, Wait, can I just say this? I've never dusted <laughs> anything, and I've never needed to. Okay, but this no, is how we're going not, to learn. But, no, but we have never needed to dust anything. Not like before they come, I'm like, oh, my room's dusty. Like, <laughs> exactly. Go ahead and dust my room. Like, that's never happened. This is the deal. This week, Brennan's going to clean the bathroom and vacuum on Saturday, vacuum the floor. Katie, your responsibility this week is to sweep all these floors on this day and this day and dust the room on Saturday. Ryan, your responsibility is to take out the garbage this day and this day because the garbage men come in this day and this day and vacuum the floor like you just did in your, in your bedroom. I'll take care of dusting for you because you're only one person in that room, okay? So this is the deal. D1, D2, D3, this is what this is. For dinner, remember everybody was sort of wondering what to do with the dinner, like, oh, why do I have to do this, why do I have to do that? D1 is clear and clean the table. D2 is load the dishwasher and clean the pans, and D3 is wipe the counters and sweep the floor. So on Monday, Brendan does that on Tuesday of the kitchen. So on Monday, Wait, so he what does this. What is sleep, sweep floor regular? What's the difference between that? And because that? The, all the, flo the all, what, all the floors I just did today. All the floors. All, the, all of these floors. And all then, of these floors. And then, and then D3 is sweep the kitchen. They're just the kitchen. We're cleaning after up the dinner. kitchen after dinner. Yep. So D3 is kind of the easy job. You clean the counters, you sweep the floor, you're done. D1 is clean the table, clear the table and clean it. D2 is load the dishwasher and clean the pans. That's sort of the heavy load. So, oh my gosh, gosh, I just yeah. totally caught Great. So, but now it's, there's order to it, no, Katie. Let me play that. Totally. If you're nice. cleaning and clearing the table, um, do you have to take everyone's dishes or can they take their own plates back to the sink? That's a good question. Generally, we've been all sitting around and talking. So if everybody gets up at the same time and brings them in, then yeah. But otherwise, I think it's... when they just leave, they should just bring their plates because that would just make it a lot easier for everyone. I'm fine with that. I think it's fine for everybody's responsibility. But then you clean the table and clear it of everything else that's there, like the ketchup, if there's ketchup or yeah, salt and pepper. Exactly. Or the, yeah. 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 So everybody should be responsible for bringing their own plates into and clearing their own plates and putting them in the sink. Yep. That's yeah. Everybody good with that? I feel like we've been doing this anyway. Great, but now we're putting order to it, honey, so everybody understands what to do. Because before you were very confused, you were like, what, why do I do that? Or what, what, which one am I supposed to do? So now there's order to it. So after this week, is it gonna switch? Yeah, it'll switch. Um, the D1, D2, D3 keeps going like this, but then the clean bathroom will go down here, the sweet floors will go down here, and take out garbage will come up here. We're all working together. Well, yeah. We're all there's working no together. There's no reason to get mad. There's no reason to get mad. If we do a little bit extra here or a little bit extra here, we're all working together as a team. That's what yeah. we're doing. Right? Yeah. So, so nobody has to do more or less, but sometimes you might do a little more or less one week to the next week. Yeah. But, but this is not always our house. This is not our house. So we have to work extra hard to make sure that everything is clean. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Kitty got zero points, and the, the goal of the game is to get the least points. She got zero points three games in a row. I'm a little suspicious. I know. I think she's yeah. All right, so Katie, congratulations Sorry. for winning. That is excellent. She won Max for the other night, too, which is maybe, well, congratulations. I was saying maybe next time we won't play with her, but that's not being very nice. All right, Katie, what made you happy today? Winning dominoes. <laughs> nice. <That's good. laughs> what made you happy today, Brennan? Getting the work out of Nice. Thank you. Absolutely. Congratulations. How about you, Ryan? What made you happy today? Um, <laughs> what made me happy today was the Xbox company. Oh. I'm kidding. Playing Mexican train with the homies and going for a bike ride, even though it didn't end as, <laughs> as I wanted to. <laughs> you got a bike, and then you lost a bike on the same day. Yeah, you know, it's, it's you know. It's circle of life. It's, it's circle of life. That's how it goes. Thanks. All right, you guys. Love you. Where's Have a good night. Play, have fun playing Xbox. You. You're I'm welcome. You what? I've already beat him today. So oh, right. stupid That's the way it goes. All right, bye-bye. All right, you guys, what made me happy today was definitely Mexican Train and putting together the um, the workout, the, or the cleaning chart, I have to say. I like order. I like when there's order. I like when we know, like, on certain days we do certain things because then it's a no-brainer, and then that's when you do it. So um, we're going to try it out. Hopefully it's going to work. What do you think, Mike? I agree, yeah. Yeah? You like that? Nice job. All right, so that's one of the things that made me happy today. And what else? Just the beautiful weather and being together with everybody. I was so happy to get Ryan, Ryan's bike, and then, bam. <laughs> Things went terribly wrong. Went terribly wrong. What made you happy today? Uh, what made me happy today was getting the call from Ryan and knowing he was okay. Yeah. Uh, and the bike disaster that, that ensued. <laughs> it was a big adventure for him. Sure. Yeah. Good stuff. I, I don't think he minded it at all. Yeah. <laughs> Other than the fact that now he doesn't have a bike. All right, you guys. So we hope you had a wonderful day today and a little bit of adventure in your day as well because that always makes it fun. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.